People are dumb. You ever notice they that? They are. They are. A lot of them are. Yes. Yeah, this person here. Uh, he goes, sorry, that's just the way it is, people. It really is. I'm sorry. He says, you're missing the point about Jericho. Heat and ratings, yes. But he takes TV time from younger talent. What are the most featured performers? 13 appearances this year. Brody King has nine, Malachi Black, ten, Mark Briscoe, five, Kyle Fletcher, six, Wait to a name second. a few. That's, well, hold that's on. not Chris I, I noted fault. here, Chris Jericho doesn't book the show. No. And then this other guy goes, you're right. When Jericho pitches an idea to Tony, Khan certainly has a track record of bravely rejecting suggestions from his highest paid stars. <laughs> when someone writes something like that, that's when I know you don't know nothing about anything, brother. You don't know anything about anything. You know what Tony Khan actually has a great track record of? What's that? Arguing with people about their ideas <laughs> and not doing them. Hey. All well, the time. You, All the time. You can say that he's partial towards Jericho's, but with that said, that's not the issue. Now, you can say people have not gotten over wrestling with Jericho or being teamed with Jericho. I mean, you can have that debate. I would debate that Jericho being not the best for ratings, even though a couple of weeks ago you were talking about, you know, I'm sure you're getting piled on with people talking about Jericho being a ratings killer. Now, again, that's all relative, but it's not like he brings those ratings up. You can debate and talk about all those sorts of things, but it's not, again, I don't how much power is Jericho you know, really wielding around there. There's so much other show and there's so many other times you could bring people on and utilize them that even if you don't like Jericho, that's only a very small part of the overall problem. Spurs here says, I'm curious what actually gets shot down. Well, listen. Oh, well. Here, here's the thing. Okay? It's wrestling. Lots someday, of someday, a lot of people will say a lot of things about a lot of things, and you can look back on this show. Unless they have and, NDAs. Man, I would, I would bet you, I'm not talking like some, I would bet you every last single person, every one of them in, in AEW has had some idea they've tried to get to Tony, and he will not do it. And multiple. Every, like every last single one of them. Me I don't know what you guys you. think happens over there, but if you think that, like, people are in there calling the shots, yeah, sometimes things happen where people go, I'm not feeling that one. I'm not feeling that one. But the idea that, like, you're going to book something, like, no, that does not happen. It does not happen. So, this guy goes, what did the Jericho feud do for Hook? It just started! You think that was the end of the Hook feud when Jericho beat him for the FTW title? Has no. nobody watched wrestling? You all know how this will end, right? Hook is going to beat Jericho for the FTW title. Mm -hmm. They'll have some sort of stipulation match, whatever, but that is going to be the end of this feud. How did it? How did it do for him? Well, will Hook be better off for it? Because there are people that would point to Ricky Starks or even MJF. I mean. Did they come out of situations with Jericho better off than when they went in? Sammy Guevara. Again, and you can debate that, but what also is true is even if they didn't come out of it very well, what did the company do with them afterwards? And we've seen that with now Ricky Starks a ton of times. I don't know when we'll see Ricky Starks again, but I think the next time we see Ricky Starks on a higher plane, it won't be working for AEW. I, People he's bring one of up those action. Guys that I would say get out of there. People bring up Action Andretti. You think Action and you think Action Andretti, you think that you think Jericho came up with a plan? Let, let me just let me just whoa, made whoa, a scenario on, for you. Hold on. I'll, go ahead. Hold go on. Ahead. You think that Chris Jericho came up with a plan and the plan was I'm going to take a guy who's never been on the show before. I'm going to get in the ring with him. I'm going to have him pin me clean in the middle of the ring. And then, the guy who pinned me clean in the middle of the ring, I'm going to make sure that he's a low prelim guy from that point forward. Why would you do that? Yeah, but like, why, did, why, why did he agree to it in the first place? Well, because, because I'm sure he figured enough. there would be a follow-up to Action Andretti beating Chris Jericho. 
He's, he's not booking the show. I understand that, but he's got enough wrestling mind to know how that angle was supposed to play out. And frankly, it should have been used on somebody else who was kind of on the cusp of coming up. And they didn't do that because every time they've done an angle like that, whether it's Ric Flair and Barry Windham, Ric Flair and Ricky Steamboat, whoever it is, when they've done that, it's somebody who you're about to explode into superstardom. That's what the rub of Jericho was supposed to do. So it was flawed from the beginning but it's like well okay maybe they really are going to do something with andretti but again you're exactly right what happened after that <clears throat> but that's why people worry about hook because again maybe it's not all jericho's fault but it seems to be and again it's not just jericho's angles there's a lot of them that's the after point they get done something but again jericho being some sort of massive help that's not true either the point is if you like a storyline in AEW, then it's Tony Khan. If you don't like a storyline in AEW, it's Tony Khan. Yeah. He is the guy final who makes word. all of the final decisions. And everybody from Swerve, Moxley, Jericho, the Young Bucks, they can Brian Danielson, all of they can all make all the suggestions they want. He is going to do what he wants to do. If he doesn't want to do what you want to do, he is going to argue with you and explain why his idea is better, and he's going to do it. I would love so, to be a fly on the wall with Brian Danielson and Tony Khan. Just I'm sure it's amazing. I'm sure it's amazing. But at the end of the day, this happens with everybody. It's his promotion. Now, there are other people... Uh, lots of people make suggestions. You know, people always ask about Will Washington. What's he do? He has he has lots of suggestions. You know, a lot of this stuff with Swerve is that's, is stuff that he did. That's what a team. But does. it's not all of it. You know, I'm sure he's got ideas that Tony shoots down. You know, I'm sure he has ideas that Tony goes for. Everybody makes suggestions, but at the end of the day, it's Tony's company. If you don't like how somebody was followed up on, that's Tony. If you don't like how somebody got a big win and then vanished, it's Tony. If you don't like how someone did a job to somebody else, it's Tony. It's all Tony. And I know that Jericho's like the, uh, you know, the guy of the week. We're really going to, you know, hate everything about him and want him to retire. Oh, he, he's been a guy like that for like months Sure, now. but, uh, you know, it's, it's exactly the same. In six months, if it's somebody else, I'm going to tell you the exact same thing, you know? If uh, if Buddy Matthews is going on a win streak and doesn't do any jobs for anybody or whatever, look at you, pro union, which actually like he did it. last night. Oh my it's God. Tony. It's All not Buddy. Sudden, it's Tony. Represent, represent the locker room, Brian Alvarez. Hey, listen, there are guys there that refuse to do jobs. <laughs> we know about this. <laughs> okay, not the shop store. They've made life very difficult. All right. Yes. In a sense, I'm down on those people. Like, be a company person. But at the well, same time, guess who's allowing them to do no jobs? It's yeah. Tony. Yeah. That's it. Brian Danielson, I say it a million times. Danielson needs to, to, like, he should win a title and put someone over for a title. He doesn't want to, okay? I think he should. But at the end of the day, it's Tony. Yeah. He's the one making the call. He can order him to. He could say, I don't care what you think, brother. You're winning that international title. Shut yeah. up and go take the pin. Well, maybe not the international title. Whatever. Whatever title. So much about Rock this week. So I decided a good match for Rock would be uh, Cold Stone. Strap him on. Corner post must have done damage. And Stone Cold kicked the Rock out of the ring. Shane, Shane was rooting for Rock. A closed lap him while down. Rock put his arm out across Stone Cold. It was just a NASA infusion. Stone Cold won the match. Cool. Can you verify we did not use AI to replace Granny? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.